Taller than me, thick feet bigger than mine. Sexuality and gender are two different things. So we can't be misgendering her. I'm not misgendering her. Wait, 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 wait. I met somebody, and well, I didn't really meet him. I'm gonna meet him today. And then he is. Hi, babe. So great to meet you. I'm the type of person like I'm. I match vibes and I match energies. You know what I mean? So you gotta take your gun and aim high to get to me, bitch. Chick, chick, boom in the air because you, you down here. Let's go back to this whole coat comment. You know, because you were really upset about that. I, I, I like had to do it to get through work and everything. All my extra money went to vote. It feels like none of y'all want to resolve anything. It seems like all of y'all just want to be mad at each other because when y'all started yelling. You know what I think it is? The bitches can't take me. You know what I'm saying? At least I don't have semen in my ass. I don't know. If my dad was there, you know, maybe things would have been different. No, no matter what you have going on, there's still light at the end of the tunnel, but you have to be ready to receive it. I mean, you know, our struggles are what we go through on a daily. I don't feel comfortable when they're talking about you saying that stuff things because at the end of the day... But you said, I was, you said I was drunk at the table. You said I was drunk. I'm able to look at you in your face. I can give you a hug. It's nothing like, I really don't want that for us. No more. Like, it's ugly. When I did it, I did it. I'm so good and I gotta admit it. My name is the name of my business, so my city is the way I represent it. Yelling go, 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 yelling go, 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 yelling go. And when I feel triggered, I immediately will pop off. Um, the last time I saw Alicia, we had to talk through some things. No, I'm sorry, Alicia, my baby girl. Um, Jayla, we had to talk through some things because we had like a little issue or whatever. And I guess I want to give you the assurance of knowing that today I'm going to turn a new leaf. I was definitely bothered by the situation that transpired with us. Mm -hmm. However, in the spirit of a new beginning, I'm gonna move forward. That's real shit. Yes. And I appreciate that. And I really Thanks. appreciate that. Alright, y'all up. Now, you know what? 
I want to overcome the pettiness, the low level of pettiness that resides in this group. And I will admit that I've been an active participant. You know, I have this lingering issue with Jayla. I'm really not sure what the deal is with her, but at this point, I just want to make up with her. I want to show her some love so that we can move on and hopefully have a good day. I just want to let everybody know. Everybody, you see how I'm taking your man. Oh, wait, that was my I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Right. Right. Wait, you taking what? I'm just taking your like, man. No, I so I'm kicking with Hershey, and then all of a sudden Jayla walks up and she says something to Jeremy, something along the lines of, or says something to me, basically saying, "Oh, I'm gonna take your man," and I'm like, "Who? She talking about Jeremy?" Now at this point, I'm like, "Okay." But in reality, I'm thinking to myself, what is she really trying to do right now, honey? But I just laughed it off, looked the other way, and kept doing what I was doing. I don't know where that's coming from. I haven't seen these people in a minute, and I'm very much single last time I thought. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to keep my eyes and ears open for this, because we know how these things like to travel. I love that we are having fun as a group, because I think that's what we kind of like been missing. But, child, I'm trying to overcome the pity, okay. and I have to just get this off of my spirit right now. What happened? The very first night we were together, we had a big party, right? You know, whatever, whatever. Alicia, you said something that I did. And I want to give you a day to do it. So, Mr. Muppet, Andre, or whatever, um, takes a situation that happened between me and Jayla, um, basically the coke situation the first night and tries to make it about himself. I explained it to him the first time that it wasn't about him. And for some reason, I don't know if he has hooked on phonics education that he didn't understand when I said the first time. I mean, at the end of the day, I think she's just like looking for attention um, and yeah. She can't stand out, so she has to just make situations about her. Like, 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 the way that you speak it to me right now, you better put some motherfuckers in the the All right, hey, all right, all right, come, great. All right, so, the day continues, huffing and puffing, tired, but still successful. Then all of a sudden, Andre turns to Alicia, and then all hell breaks loose. Okay, listen, 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 listen. What is the bottom line? What, what, what's the what's the main thing? Now, come on, let's talk. Come on, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Girl, no, 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 no. This bitch say one more thing to me. It's, okay. it's gonna get ugly, and I'm trying to keep it cute with her. I understand. Okay. So tell me this. I'm trying to keep it cute with you, girl. So I'm laying on the ground, and I'm wondering. What the hell did I climb up this mountain for if by the end of it we wasn't about to get along? So I marched all these stairs for nothing. We, I, we marched the stairs for you and I, T.Y. and all I'm getting is drama by Mary J. Blige. I'm, I'm not here for it. I'm just gonna keep eating my apple and they can do whatever they're doing behind me. I'm over it. Does anybody not know what clarification is? Because I started by saying I just so, want okay, clarification. So, she, so from what she said, it was geared towards Jake. And that's fine. I, I, so what I, she? So tell me this, and, and you know, this is all due respect. Yeah. I'm not trying to, you know, like cut in or anything like that. But just I, I want to bring a conclusion to this. So that that's fine. But this is my thing. Who are you? My bitch, that's gonna check you. No, but who are you? See you. Okay. And what do you have? A brain. Yeah. A name. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Exactly. With that being said. Mm -hmm. There's no need to argue with it. Right. Now, I understand a lot of people at this table might not have a lot to lose, but I, on the other hand, have a thriving career in fashion and wardrobe and creative direction, and I cannot be associated with any negative allegations. So for me, you gonna have to clear it up. If it didn't have a name on it when you shot it out there today, you need to make sure that I know who you were talking to, what you were talking about, so I can walk away from this knowing if this issue is resolved or if we still have a situation. Because she felt like I was coming at her. Yeah, you I felt sugar because the pettiness in there just a little bit underneath in a nice tone. It wasn't meant to be petty though. Okay. And so that's why I guess for me I felt I was like, okay, why is this girl getting rude and disrespectful yeah. when I'm literally giving you an opportunity to clear the air? If it's a misunderstanding, then let's just clear it up right now in front of everybody. Since it happened in front of everybody, let's clear it up in front of everybody and put it to bed. But you're not yeah. gonna talk to me crazy. So, girl, you almost, you made it up the steps. You almost made it out the I made it. Without <laughs> Look, the petty well, I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm a work in progress. Okay. So I'm progressing. Good job. I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm proud. I'm almost let you know. Okay. You know, Thank you. Right. Keeping me accountable. Get that parent. Go. <laughs> now listen, let me tell y'all something about me. I don't deal with disrespect at all, and this bitch Alicia is clearly 
very disrespectful. So I think the best thing for me is to get back to a little bit of stretching, a little bit of yoga, release some of these tensions before I have to push a bitch off this cliff, okay? So luckily we're able to get things back on track and you know what, whoever mad, stay mad. Really, really, no, this is not for play. I see you and you see me, you wanna ride the wave. I see the money, won't pick and roll, give and go. I see the money, won't pick and roll, give and go. I see the money, won't pick and roll, give and go. I see the money, won't pick and roll, give and go. Today is a very special and exciting day. It's the one year anniversary for Shop Him and I am celebrating by shooting a commercial. And this ain't no little commercial, this is the real deal. I have, you know, a 4K red camera, a set designer, grip guys, professional models, like the whole nine yards. So Shop Him is my brand and this is my baby. It means the world to me. And you know what, I put the heat in him, period. influencer in the social media and fashion space I always have people reaching out to collaborate with me but today I'm collaborating with Calvin Media they're gonna produce a full-on commercial and I could not be more excited like it's our one year anniversary and it's been an uphill journey starting a business as you guys know is not easy but I've just been fortunate enough where I've been able to generate sales Stay connected with my audience and today is the culmination of all of that because bitch, I'm shooting a commercial, okay? You better get into it. First of all, I wanna say thank you guys so, 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 so much for coming out to the Calvin Media Shop Him photo shoot. I know with COVID going on and so many just like weird things, it's just weird to even get together, but I appreciate you guys giving your time, your talent, your energy. I'm so thankful, I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. We got Maurice, our amazing model in the building. We got Dan, our set designer. And then of course, Jamel, who I could not have pulled this off without his amazing talent, his effort, his dedication. Thank you so, 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 so much. I have everybody right here in front of me and I just have to thank them so much for being on this incredible journey with me. Like, Shop Him is a baby that I gave birth to myself. So today means the world to me and I'm super duper duper excited. Like, we have models from freaking Wilhelmina. We have like a full on production set up. And so I am super proud and I'm super happy to share this journey and I'm on a mission. Like, Fashion Nova, count your days, bitch, because I'm coming at your ass. Period. Oh my gosh, I forgot Reginald. I forgot Reginald. Make up our makeup artist, our glam guy. Thank you, Reginald. Okay, now we can shoot. Wow, wake up to the money, turn me right on. You look like you got just with no lights on. No lights on. A Superman that spin like a cyclone. So today, girl, we got an early morning shoot. We're doing the Royal Finest Body Butter Campaign Spring. Summer, and we're here with two wonderful models. I have Keith Thomas and I have Steven Beck, you know, the Beck effect. So it's gonna be a lot of hotness on set today. I invited Dee Hawkins because I hear, you know, I'm not sure, but I hear that she's a creative set designer. So I just want to bring her along to see if we can get her tea, see if we can help her see if things go great today. So we're here early in the morning, girl. I hate early mornings, but we gotta make it happen. I have been invited to this scene uh, with Ian. He's shooting a commercial today for his body butter um, uh, line. And you know, quite honestly, I don't know what to expect. I've never met him before. Honestly, I hadn't really heard much about him, but I know that um, apparently he's pretty cool with Andre. Um, Andre couldn't make it. He's always booked and busy. You know, my Judy stays busy, but um, he invited me, so I'm going. And we're gonna see what he gives. Told you you so extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of. So, anywho, I walk in, I hit the corner, and all of a sudden, all I see is a half naked man standing under a waterfall. And, baby, the melody in my head was, It's getting hot in here, so hot. 
But anywho, and he was standing off to the side, of course, he was doing his thing or whatever, you know, photographer, videographer, everybody was getting their deal, but I was just like, this is hot. Um, you have stepped into the shade room, what happened? <laughs> Let me show you, I got all your teeth, hold on. Yes, yes. Yes. Slim trim him, we always around. Slim trim, that's correct, slim trim him. Sorry, I could not be there today, but I'm glad that I was able to send the clothes. And hopefully everything works out. I already know you're about to get some killer content. Yes, but of course, congratulations to you for stepping into the shade room. Yes. But see, the girls, I like to throw shade for free, but I typically get paid when I throw mine. Period. Yes. All right, I'll talk to you later, sis. All right, talk to you later. All right, bye. So how you been? How you been doing? You know, I've been great, this you know. COVID. We Just got the president today. Girl. We did, you know. I'm excited. Come great on, Biden, right. 2021. Right. Um, but overall, I mean, I've been good, you know, just kind of working on my EP, you know, I, trying to balance so many things at once, you know, as a creative, you kind of got to kind of learn to put some things on the back burner and kind of bring some things to the forefront. So I've been a little bit of a transition. Right. So yeah, it's going well though. Can't that's dope. That's dope. So when you plan on dropping EP? So uh, the first single, my debut single for the EP, that will actually be finished within a week. And what is the um, single giving me? Is it giving me? Okay. But it's good. Okay, so yeah. one of them is called MDAC, um, okay. aka Make That Ass Clap. Oh, uh, oh, so that's now. bust. Okay, yeah, yeah so it's so giving me what I need. It's gonna be a bunch of bust. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. And then another yeah. is called uh, Between Me and You. It's a kind of classic R uh, R&B song, or whatever. Yeah, okay. It's gonna give you a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you spoken to any of the girls in the group? Like. Uh, let's see, just randomly, you know, through like Instagram, you know, stuff like that. Um, I've talked to King lately, you know, he's still doing his radio show and, you know, stuff like that. Um, King, King, what? King Payne is it? King Payne. King Payne. Oh, Miss, oh, yeah, 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 Miss Payne. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. <laughs> Miss Payne, like Kenya from the Housewives reunion when she was having a fan. King Flipper. Okay. Yes. Who else? Have you talked to Fran? I haven't talked to Fran. You know, I haven't seen Fran in a while, but um, we also talked through social media uh, briefly. Um, you know, he's just, you know, I think working on a couple like music projects and stuff. Oh, she does music. I didn't know he what she does. He sings. She sings. I thought she, she was an actress. And, um, I didn't know what she... And models. And, my, and sing slash model. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So she like. I mean, as far as I know now, I, I haven't. As far really as we know, we don't because we don't know. Okay, so we're gonna hopefully find out. So Ian and I are sitting in the mirror, you know, of course admiring ourselves. You know, that's what people do. But he makes a comment about Fran. You know, Fran McGood Judy or whatever. You know, he did state that you know he was a little shocked at the fact that you know Fran was an actor, singer, model, but he only had less than four hundred followers on Instagram. Now at the end of the day, you know, I have. A lot more followers and I feel like you know when it comes to social media that is important but reality is girl how do you know all of this you don't even know friend have you spoken to Quan I know we had went I talked to Quan a few times throughout the week um, I'm actually featuring him on one of my songs it's called uh, talk to my daddy but um, it's gonna be featuring Quan the poet uh, he's gonna be uh, he's gonna do some poetry yeah he's gonna do some poetry so the song. phenomenal woman that's me Baby, get all the way in on it. And the cage bird singing and all Honey, that. Honey, it sings, it sings, and it sung. And who else? Was it Alicia? That was, was that her name? What? Uh, well, she was yeah. in the circle, what, the, one of the girls. Yeah, one of our group members. Have you talked to her? One of our group members. Wow. Is it, well, have I haven't. Have you spoken to her? Honestly, I have not. You know, the only time I ever see her is, you know, when we get together as a group. And Jayla, too. I haven't even met her. Because I think the Jayla? last time we got together, she was in Vegas or something. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And then they said that she was actually the one making the allegations about the girls doing coke or whatever. They said it was her that was No, doing um, I think. Oh, was it Alicia? I believe it was Alicia. I'm getting who up made a comment. See, that's why. I, that's why we need to. Ba have baby, it. Jayla is the ball. To the bottom. We love her. We like her. She's I love cool. Jayla. You know, hey, I love everybody until you know they prove it otherwise. Right. But, but anywho, I'm excited about it. You know, I can't wait to you know try some of your body butter yes. itself. You know, it's gonna be amazing. Always, I'm always gonna be. Professional. You at better the end be of the slings day. bang. Beginning of the day, midday, and at the end of the day. I'm mm. gonna be What about when you sleep, I'm just professionally sleep, just like that. Yes. <laughs> just like that on these girls. Alright, so at the end of the day, in my opinion, it was everything. Naked men, body butter everywhere, rainfall dripping, woo woo. Ian, he was cool. He was a character. He had a lot to say about everybody. And it was quite surprising because he knew really nobody, but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. So until next time, I'll see you. Yeah, so thank you so much for coming. I'm excited. Most to definitely, you, you know, in your box any way I can help, I'm here for you. So let's yes, do it. Let's do it. Coming up on Chasing.
LA. I recently um, met with uh, Ian, uh -huh. and um, you know he we uh, well he shot a did a photo shoot and uh, shot a commercial for his uh, body butter. Uh, wow. Have you heard of rap? I can't see y'all. For what generation? <laughs> you know, last year I got attacked. Oh my god. So I was leaving work. I was a manager at a bar and I got attacked by seven guys. So seven? Seven. My name is Imani Van Zack, and I'm here to help you fix your shit. This week on Chasing Compton, <laughs> I'm just saying. The only thing we have not seen yet on the show is a gun. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. Okay. Anyway, Chasing LA, week three. So to start, what would Chasing LA be without a bunch of fighting, right? So Jayla, Alicia, and King Payne are still getting into it from the pole dancing party or whatever that was. And again, it was just messy. It was just messiness for no reason. People just saying insulting things for no reason. Followed by what? More drinking. I said, y'all don't need no more liquor because it's not your friend, okay? So this week was conversation week and I have to say that I really enjoyed the conversations. First conversation we had was with Fran and Andre. Andre, I do love that you are working. You know, I always pause to give my babies praise. Fran? I'm gonna come back to you in a minute. Next coming into the conversation is Fly King Eye. Fly King, I, I love your personality. <laughs> I gotta say, you're killing me with these Steve Harvey suits though. Next up we have Alicia and Hershey. I love this conversation. Hershey, you already know how I feel about you. Right now you're in charge of the girls, I'm just saying. Alicia, I'm, I'm, I'll come back to you in a minute. Next up, D Hawkins and Quan. Now I gotta say this, I am proud of y'all that we've gone from a 30 minute episode to an hour long episode. But to be fair, part of the reason why the episode was one hour was because this one scene with D Hawkins and Quan was 25 minutes. <laughs> why was this scene so long? Oh my God, it went on and on and on. But I gotta give it to the makeup artists though. Did you see those makeup artists? everything. Baby, let me tell you, the one girl, she was getting her life so much, at one point she totally eclipsed D. Hawkins. Baby, shout out to the makeup artists. Y'all are beautiful. They got all the tea that day. I know they was doing that makeup like, child, gay people crazy. <laughs> Last but not least, we have this very interesting conversation between Alicia and Jayla going up the rough side of the mountain. <laughs> I'm coming up. Oh, listen. They buried the hatchet. What hatchet? I'm not sure why. You only know each other five minutes to have beef that seems like it lasted for 20 years. <laughs> Who does that? That's funny, number one. Number two, let me tell you this. If you and I really got beef, I'm not going anywhere up on a mountaintop with you, okay? So you can get mad and, and have regret and knock me down and I'm never heard from again because I'm in some ditch being eaten up by the coyotes. Ah! All right. Ooh! So which brings me to the people that I think that need the most fixing, okay? I'm gonna go down the line. Fran, I'm gonna deal with you, okay? You are one of the most beautiful human beings I've ever seen, all right? I need to see more. All I see you really doing now is prancing around being pissed off. That ain't nothing. Fran, I went to your Instagram. You can really sing, like really sing. I need to see more of that. Fly King Eye, you're up next. Get in here, okay? Now I love you, all right? And it was so funny because I, I made a little funny on Instagram about how you came for little Kendra. I'm just being funny and going on about my business. Listen, Fly King, I feel some kind of way. My team let me know he reached out to me and told me off in voicemail. Hi, Auntie. This is Fly King, I. Um, I saw um the comment that you made about me taking a shot at little Kendra. In the culture of hip hop, especially in battle rap, which is the culture that I'm a part of, we have what's called honorable mention, which we will mention or tag another artist. It was not a shot at Little Kendra. It was an honorable mention. I just wanted to hit you up and let you know that that's not, that wasn't my intention nor what I did. Okay? Thank you so much. Child, okay. Child, the kids get mad when auntie get honest. You're assuming I know nothing about rap. Baby, I know songs that are older than you. Now you say you weren't coming from Little Kendra, but let me tell you this. 
you're gonna have a hard time trying to convince me, who looks at this all the time, that in a sea of messy people, you are somehow clean. Which lastly brings me to Alicia. I love you, baby, but right now, all you're giving me is a pretty face. I don't know what you're chasing. When you were sitting there talking with Hershey and saying, oh, the girls can't take me, take what? I'm not trying to be mad, I don't know. I don't know what it is. And I think that that's why it makes it easy for everybody to come for you. Chase and Compton, please get it together, okay? Become stronger and better. This is Imani Van Zandt, and I'll see you soon. Bye, baby. Years spent looking at a broken reflection Unanswered questions raised by life lessons Praying you be my only blessing Words falling on deaf ears I inherited an unknown being Alright, so yes, I am an up and coming um, music artist, uh, singer and rapper I decided to invite the cast out, you know, I was recording my single, uh, Talk To My Daddy Now, this song in particular, I am a product of a single mother um, I didn't have my father in my life. I actually didn't meet him for the first time until I was 16 years old. So instead of harboring that pain for a long time, I decided to take it to paper and bring a little bit of fame out of it. Little bitty boy in love. Little bitty town in life. Grew up chasing girls, but I really love the boys. Oh my. So today, D. Hawkins has invited me to the studio, and it's definitely my element because I'm obviously like a vocalist, and and I'm super excited because it's definitely my element, my environment, and I'm obviously a vocalist. I better get my songwriting credits. Period. <laughs> Jayla Jaylon on a motherfucking track. Y'all hear me? What's going on, y'all? So I just arrived to the studio. Nice invitation by my boy Z Hawkins. I'm here to support him. He has a new song out, and I'm just like so excited. I'm a singer myself, soul singer, so we definitely relate in that aspect. Um, and I just can't wait to meet him, you know what I'm saying, to see what's going on, because we haven't seen each other since the dinner. So let's see what's going on. Um, it is strong. Okay, okay, I showed up right on time. Let's redo it. Okay, see, the thing is, this is what's really going on. Number one, I invited everybody to come out here, and I appreciate this because everybody has a king. Well, we're going to talk in a minute or whatever. You look good. Yeah, you got step on in. But this is the thing. Y'all look. I'm recording. I'm already fucking nervous, but I can't even get into the song. I'm down there and motherfucking about shaking, and I'm trying not to do that. And I don't want to blow the fuck off on nobody because I respect everybody in here, and I want y'all to respect me. So all I'm asking, give me about 10, 15 minutes and just chill out. And I mean, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but it's just like I'm, I'm fucking nervous, okay? Like, cause if I'm, if I'm like, if I say, you know, if I need to stop and I ask him a question, I need to be able to hear him, and I can't hear him. So, thank you, appreciate it. Okay, so we're talking, we're chatting, and then you know, Jayla just so happens to mention that the fact that you know, D Hawkins, you know, you, you should really calm down, you know, as far as your anxiety, you got this. And I'm like, honey, look here. At the end of the day, we're both artists. You know why I'm upset. The fact that you keep making so much noise. There's so much extra going on in the background. I can't even hear the engineer because you see, you keep talking and talking and talking and talking and you wonder why I'm upset. Now, at the end of the day, I respect the fact that you're trying to calm me down, but understand that the reason that I'm even upset is because of what you are doing. What's going on? You all right? I know you've been a little stressed, but I'm not that stressed man. So I want to apologize, you know, for missing your event, you know. Like I said, friend, no hard feelings. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all chasing, you know, we're all out here working. Sometimes some things come up. And this motherfucker right here is quick to cancel on you. Who have you ready? Ready with your nice boots and your nice makeup on? They hit right. you. They hit you with a message. You know, when work calls. <laughs> well, girl, I, I, well, I mean, truth be told, I had to get to the money, honey. You know. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Well, hashtag me, me, I'm just saying. You know. You know, know we all got shit to do. Cause you know, I ain't really seen nobody. Like, what I mean, let's see. I don't like to see here, baby. <laughs> Um, I recently um, met with uh, Ian, uh -huh. and um, you know he we uh, what well, he shot a we did a photo shoot and uh, shot a commercial for his uh, body butter. I like Ian. Yeah, Ian's cool or whatever, but I have to be honest and say I haven't met Ian. Who? He's a new member. 
Okay. She has a little child. Okay. Talented rapper. Oh. Fine rapper. Wow. Have you heard of rap? I've seen his videos. No. For what generation? <laughs> what? There you go, girl. I'm not asking. But anyway, you know, well, for y'all not to know much about Ian, he sure seems to know quite a bit about everybody else. Oh, I never met Ian. He's, he's, he said something about me. Well, you know, he just kind of, not anything specific about I, you, but he did, you know, make some statements in the sense of, why he was like, um, well, let me get into it first. No, you know, he was just like, um, he was like, well, how is there, oh, God. <laughs> That's what's okay, I'm not going to play. But look, so he was like, you know, how's everybody doing? You know, have you seen, you know, such and such lately or whatever, you know. So. This is the tea. Or whatever he asked me, you know, hey, have you seen Fran or whatever? You know, I was like, well, you know, I haven't seen him, you know, in a while or whatever, but I've like talked to him through social media or whatever. You know, he was like, you know, so what is he up to? And I was like, you know, well, you know, still doing this modeling thing or whatever. And there was a comment, if I'm not mistaken, about like uh, your following, whatever, what exactly you do do and stuff like that. You know, so I touch base on Why does it? Say, why do you give a fuck if you ain't never met Fran? Now yeah, look, we go, well, no, 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 we met. I met oh, you met her? Yes. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? His, his style was a little off. You know, okay. I, I couldn't. <laughs> 19, 1970, yeah. good time. That's what somebody was telling me. All right. Well, this yeah. is my thing. Speaking about Andre, so at, uh, you know, uh, Isaiah's deal or whatever, you know, uh, he was featuring um, Andre's clothing line, which mm -hmm. is Shop Him. Mm -hmm. Hashtag, uh, keyword, Shop Him. Now, okay. for him to be such best friends with Andre and for Andre to lend the his, fabric. his um, clothing line, the fabric. you know, <laughs> as the you say, line. his clothing line into the no, mix. No, 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 I was just surprised he that, has um, nice fabrics. I, see. I was surprised that Ian didn't seem to know the name of the brand. Well, he seems... Hell, he asked me about three, four times, you know, I know, shit, I think at one point we were like, he by him or whatever, we done put a whole nother brand on the map. But I don't know, any, if it were me, if I were using somebody's brand, I would know exactly what I'm talking Who's about. Whose brand is it? It's, this is Andre's brand. Oh, okay. But anyway, enough about that. But anyway, he had made a comment or whatever about um, Quan, because I told him I was featuring Quan on one of my upcoming songs, and he was like, who, Maya Angelou? Mm -hmm. And I was like, he was like, who? Not Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou, and I was like, yes, and then he was like, why does girl? Say about everybody, you know, quite honestly, or whatever. I, I, know what he's I think I have a little clip, a clip about him, whatever. We can actually, you know, kind of uh, right. It's the me, out me. It's the it's the T for me, <laughs> about me, for me. So what's that? At the I end of the day. So have you heard from King? Because I know King got some reservations. To say about you know, I've seen. You know, I've talked to King um, recently. Whatever, I hadn't seen him in a while. You know, there was a little bit of, um, I guess you could say, confusion about some things that were said. You know, last time we were together at the stairs. Mm -hmm. um, well, and you, y'all two weren't there. You right. know, I did make a comment basically saying that I'm glad to see that you know everybody was able to get together. There wasn't any drama. You know, people seemed to kind of you know mend some broken you know uh, deals and uh -huh. stuff like that. And then somebody was like, well, there's only two people that's not here. And so King's name came up and your name came up. Oh, really? Now, reality is, is, I just made sure I brought King up because I was like, not King. Because everybody know King is a king and that's, that's royalty. But you call me the prince. You the prince? So King had you. But anyway, you know, King is my friend, you know, and I don't want no confusion on that end. Like I said, at the end of the day, you know, you and King weren't there. We had actually a good time. I think there was a little bit of issue between, um, if I'm not mistaken, Andre and Alicia, but that's a rub, I'm tired of it. Oh my God. I don't think I got a chance to talk to King about me and Alicia. Well, King will be here soon enough. Yeah. You, and I'm so glad you and Alicia are right No, it's a good thing. No, we mended a lot. Y'all clean by y'all never We kind of clean by y'all, yeah, yeah. That's big sis. Right. But all that to say, I'm glad I'm gonna get, get an opportunity to talk to him and kind of clear this mess up or whatever. So, you know, at the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh -oh. Well, well, well. Speaking of this in a bit. Hey, hey, well, I'm gonna see you. Hey, hey. Oh, you don't have a Let's do that one more time. Hey, how are you? Hey, girl. What's up, man? Why didn't you tell me you was coming, oh, girl? Oh, and there's me. You're so angry, you was gonna tell me. Shut up. I was like, hey, the king. Invitations to my last party. Remember, I was telling you guys about my hair products that I have. Yeah. Okay, these are the invitations. Uh, this is your invitation. I thought this was a party. I don't even know if I should give it to you. Then we need to talk. Yes. Thank you know, because I haven't heard that you were spilling some time. Why did you have a lot to say? I heard. 
Okay, I'll hear it. So tell me what you heard and let me tell you the truth. I was just like, it's strange because, like, I thought, you know, I thought we were friends. So this is my thing. Tell me what you heard and let me tell you the truth because I don't go off what other people okay. say. So I think if you feel like I'm in, it was like, friend, tell way. me it was, like, it was like, 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 I might have interpreted what you said. And nothing's wrong with that. Wrong. And that's and why it's possible, possible today. Things but I just, as King being my friend, you being my, my friend as right. well, I wanted to have that conversation. And I'm glad we are. So at the end of the day, insinuations can be made, but we're having this conversation. We're right. playing there. More important, if you hear anything outside of coming from me directly, check with me because I'm going to check with you. you are if I felt like you was a messy bitch, you wouldn't be here today because okay. this is money that's being spent. Harry. Really, money well, that's being wasted. So we need to keep that in. Where's on the street? Okay. What time? I can't tell you because we got a few more minutes. Now, you didn't hear this shit from me because you know, I can't tell you who told this. Word on the street is you didn't even want me here today. Word what? What? It had nothing about me not wanting you here today. What it was is there's only a certain amount of people because, of course, this is COVID season. There's only a certain amount of people that are able to come. You and I have had scenes together. Absolutely. I haven't had a really a scene with Fran. I haven't really had a scene with Jake. Quan was a feature. Of course, production. You know, so with that being said, there's only a certain amount of people. And my boy, Jay, this was on the track. This was a feature too, huh? Well, it was. All but all it got I was removed. trying to say. But I took your advice. It was. And I added all it. All I'm it saying is that I hear him. But with that being said, what it was is Jayla told me initially that she wasn't sure if she was going to come because, of course, she was looking busy and was in Vegas at the time. Right. So, respectfully, I reached out and said, hey, what do you, I called you and I said, what are you doing or whatever? Jayla said she couldn't come or whatever. You know, are you able to come? What are you doing on this day? And you said Absolutely. That. So, with that being said, that was that it had nothing to do about me not, you know, considering you first. It was just the fact of the matter. I hadn't seen them in a while. I wanted to see them. We talked. I don't talk to them all. And you booked their babies, right? So with that being said, you know, I'm glad you're here. I almost did a baby today. All right. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad we can put this to, you know, put this to the side or whatever. And then going forward, you know, all the BS, let's just cease it. I don't, I don't have time for that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because I think that this is that way. I need you to, uh, whatever you got going in the studio, I'm going to need you to perform that at my mom's party. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm all for it, but I got to get it done first. Thank you for this. Is she friend? Yeah, I'm trying to get it done. Yeah. Girl, is this Tiffany? Are we good? Give me a hug. Give me a hug. I want you to tell Andre. Don't say nothing about him. Be careful. Since Andre likes sending messages, I want you to tell Andre that I hear Everything, okay, okay. Anything, I don't know how many times I gotta say anything. Any, any. Well, girl, say it to like, come to the, um, he can the, say it. The king and the queen. Um, okay, the queen, honey. So at this point, quite honestly, you know, I'm known as a peacemaker, but I really felt provoked to just speak the truth. I was quite pissed off, you know, like I was very selective in the people that I invited, you know, whether they felt the need to come or not. Reality is, this is my artistry. I take it serious. I really don't care what your vendetta was, the reason that you chose to share, show up. I know why I invited you, and you know why you were there. So at the end of the day, D. Hawkins does what he does. You were there for a reason. And how dare you come and disrespect it? I'm going to bid an adieu to the two of you. Thank y'all so much for coming. I'll see y'all next time we gather together. Mm -hmm. But um, I gotta get this business in. I got one more hour left that I'm canned for and I need to get it done. Yeah. Yes, please. So, thank you, love. You thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. you. All right, Kwan, we got a little more to do. It was good to see you, boo. I'm not right. Thank you. Y'all make sure y'all get your invites. All right. All right. All right. All right. Coming up on Chasing LA. There's a video floating around right now of, um, I got jumped by four women this past, um, this, this past summer at a pool party. I wasn't doing anything. I was just chilling, having a good time with my girls. Leave trans women, black women, the fuck alone.
Picture yourself on an exotic island, the perfect mixed drink concoction in hand, beautiful scenery in view surrounded by high spirited people who look just like you. Off in the distance, you hear one of your favorite songs getting louder as someone yells out, let's dance. You were planning to have a relaxing time lounging around, but your hips just won't let you be. LGBT Takeover provides the roadmap for you to travel the world with pride while having the time of your life. We are breaking barriers, exploring the world in style and partying like it's 1999. From phone parties in Mexico to a luau on Grand Turk Island, our next destination could be the travel experience of your dreams. Ready to make it a reality? Visit us online at lgbttakeover.com and follow us on Instagram at golgbttakeover. Make your travel dreams a reality today. Travel with us today. Hey everybody, it's your girl Chocolate Beauty. For those of you who don't know me, I am a vlogger in these YouTube streets. If you're interested in reviews on your favorite reality television shows, web series, latest celebrity news, trending hot topics, or all things pop culture, this channel is for you. And if you want to have a more serious discussion about topics that matter, this channel is for you too. So pretty much, I keep you entertained and informed all at the same time make sure that you guys follow me under all my social media platforms you can find me under the hashtag chocolate beauty 81 hopefully i will see you on my channel to the West Coast Beauty Hub by my other fellow trans sister, Risha Blair, who is the shit. I'm excited, oh my gosh. You know, this is my girl Risha's shop. She's a, a fellow trans sister. And I just love coming here because she opened this space for you know women like us and women in general, beautiful women, to just come here, get pampered, feel free to express themselves, you know, gossip, chit chat, talk, spill the tea. And I, you know, I just wanted you to feel comfortable because I know we were talking about going to a bar or something, but I was like, oh my gosh, I need a, I need a day. So Jalen invites me for a girls' day, and I love girls' day because I love to pamper myself. So um, when she asked me to come to the West Beauty Hub, I was so excited, and I was like, I can't wait to see what's in store. So I'm glad that you brought me like in this setting because like. I know we started off rock real walkie and I know like maybe I played a part because I'm kind of like really quiet. So it kind of like leaves interpret, you know, people to interpret me however they want to interpret me. But the reason I'm so quiet and stuff now and I'm more quiet than I was before is because, you know, last year I got attacked. Oh my gosh. So I was leaving work. I was a manager at a bar um, and I was leaving work at 3 a.m. And I was walking down the street and I got attacked by seven guys. So, seven? Seven. So it was, it was. I seen that on the news, sis. I'm so sorry, like, I'm so sorry. So that's why, like, when I came, like, to the new group setting, I'm kind of, like, quiet to myself because I'm still dealing with it. Like, it's hard, and I don't know. I'm, I just. I'm gonna share something that, you know, um, there's a video floating around right now of, um, I got jumped by four women this past um, this this past summer at a pool party, I wasn't doing anything. I was just chilling, having a good time with my girls, and you know, the girls attacked me, and they didn't even know that I was a trans woman. They they still don't know. They just you know what I'm saying. And I'm just so embarrassed. It's like 
it's like, damn, we can't even go anywhere and just be ourselves, you know, or experience just, you know, living like everybody else. A motherfucker always want to come for us, you know? So we're back um, in the bathroom salon and I'm comfortable, you know, I'm feeling good. And um, we just started talking about, you know, what we've been through in life. And I basically um, told her about my story, about what happened, um, a couple years ago when I got attacked in um, DC. Alicia Wood is soft-spoken, a beauty queen, transgender. And now with every step she takes, she fears for her life. I just want people to know that they're beautiful. Um, no matter what you know, people go through, I just want them to know that you can keep fighting um, and keep making a difference. For me, it was definitely um, heartwarming and felt good because I haven't really told a lot of people about it. Um, so to tell another trans woman um, kind of warmed my heart. So yeah, I was just, I was really touched that she listened. This life is crazy to be honest. Like, it's just so many trans sisters and brothers who weren't able to make it, you know, to see today. So that's why I'm glad that like we had that talk at the park because like, I'm still dealing with shit, you know, like, and people don't understand that, like, we're still human, you know, and we're still going through these, you know, going through these things. Yeah. We can get attacked for no reason. No, I understand, girl, the people in the group. Yeah, so it's, it's just like, I felt like all these gay men against me, you know what I'm saying, then they were trying to drag you in it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so when I'm I first just, met you, like I said... You walk with grace, you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing, that's, I didn't feel I like, like I, grace, I didn't feel like so I, I was like, being shady to anyone. I just came like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you was like, you was <laughs> like, uh, uh, what'd you say? You look like you work at the stripper, the strip club. No, no, well, I, I, I laughed though. I, 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 I didn't know, but I if I could be offended. a stripper, bitch, I would be a stripper. Like, if I was thick, like you and stuff, you? I would be a stripper. You look good though. You do look good. I mean, girl. Alicia, you, you know look how good. voluptuous Amazon strippers there are? Girl, stop it. Look at uh, Nene Leakes. Okay. Silk. Ciao. Okay. Portia. <laughs> oh, I like Portia. You yeah. serve better than that. No, bye. Let me stop. I love Nene. <laughs> I'm really glad that Alicia was able to open up with me and sincerely talk about, you know, everything that's going on in her life because I did see an article about her getting jumped by seven men and only God knows what she was going through in that moment but i'm glad that she has a shoulder to lean on and somebody to cry to because i'm always going to be here for her in situations like this girl i'm just i'm just happy that we got a chance to you know get pampered you know and just talk and just and i'm glad that i got to share like my story with you and kind of like i've seen that sis I see that and I cried because I understand that's nothing we just, you know, throw away like, oh, it happened, you get over it. And, but that's something as trans women we have to do. We have to just throw it away and pretend like it never happened. You know what I'm saying? And I'm starting to realize that and how messed up that is. But, you know, it just, God wouldn't put anything on you that you couldn't handle. You know what I'm saying? This is a testimony that you are supposed to tell. This is a testimony that you are going to, you know, it's gonna help other people. You know, I really do believe that trans women need to stand up for each other because, you know, if you see something, say something. Don't let somebody, you know, clockable or unclockable. Don't let nobody, you know, make you feel like you can't stand up for your sister because at the end of the day, if it happened to me, it can happen to you. If it happened to her, it can happen to you. Trans women are being murdered, segregated, divided, you know, judge. It's like, it's bad enough we're already black. Like, we're going through the same thing 10 times harder, you know, and it just gets fucking ridiculous when we're walking around the streets and, and we're doing what we need to do as people and we're getting attacked and criticized and judged when we're walking across the street or some shit. Like, damn, people need to mind the business that pays them and leave trans women, black women, the fuck alone. We all got stories. But I am so sorry and I empathize with you, sis. I empathize with you, like, you know what I'm saying? You're so pretty, stop crying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big girls don't cry. <laughs> Just play with you. Sit up with your
you and uh what's up with you and Andre? Have you guys like have you guys talked since? Like which one's Andre? <laughs> you know, everything that's been happening happened all at one time. I went there and got tested and I came back positive. You know what? I try to keep peace with everybody, but when you wanna try this bitch motherfucking bullshit on camera when you bag me for the sake of your motherfucking image. I am Compton, Compton, I am